Hi Taurus, it's Lulu, and today I'm going to do your December spiritual conversation or whenever you see it. Okay, time is fluid, y'all know that. <laughs> Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. <clears throat> Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Any information that you need is in the description box, darling. Yes. Yes. Don't forget that you can get the 90-day journey to mindfulness uh, workbook slash journal. I'm calling it a journal because you will be journaling daily, becoming more mindful, present, and aware of who you are, your patterns of behavior, how you operate out in this world, what you can fix, right? Just, you know, take an accountability for where you are in this world. The hardest work that you will do is on yourself. It is almost 3 a.m., but we rocking. Right? Like a cutout stocking. Now then, what do you have for my beautiful bulls, honey? What do you have for my bulls? There's a need uh, for many of you to take a break. There's a need for you to um, pull back. You may have been ungrounded here recently, okay? So they're saying that you need to pull back, you need to recharge, you need to get back in the bullpen, okay? Swat a few flies with your tail, grunt a little bit or whatever it is that bulls do, you know, the thing bulls do. But they want you to take time out to enjoy your surroundings. You may even want to get out and walk in nature or just be in nature here. <clears throat> but they want you to ground, okay? you Ooh. all right so there is a lot of work for you to do and I feel like um, by you setting boundaries by you um, knowing how to coexist without having to give too much to too many different people or too much to the wrong people okay somebody need to go on and buy themselves some cars that's crazy I'm just holding on to these cars for their life you hear me now there is a need to um, stabilize. So there's a lot of, there's a huge stabilizing force that is coming in uh, here for you within the next few weeks or a few months or what have you. Um, I also feel that there's a door opening uh, that you hadn't, you thought was co closed completely and it's going to open or it's reopening, but it's a slow open, a little crack and then, you know, a slow look. Right? before it's completely open because some of you may not even see this coming. It may come out of nowhere. And by the time you realize it, you see that, okay, that was open. Um, it took me so long to realize that was open and I could walk through that door, right? Now then, let's see what they're talking about, honey. Just starting off with anxiety. That just tells me even more so that you need to ground. Because a lot of times with anxiety and the way that this anxiety is coming through, there's a decision that needs to be made. Uh, some of you are um, feeling limited or recognizing your limitations when it comes to certain situations here. Okay, let's take it slow because it looks like it's going to get messy. <sighs> so, you may have been overthinking or um, overanalyzing. You may have been in a space where certain things that didn't need to be keeping you up have been keeping you up. Many of you are healing on a soul level, but you are kind of pushing it. You, instead of a, um, being more open and allowing, you are trying to push the envelope, trying to make things happen a certain way and not um, really um, working with divine order here. But I feel like there's a new beginning, a new way of doing things here. There's a shift that has happened and two avenues may have opened up at once. There may even be a need for you to pull yourself together, how he's holding these wands, like you really need to pull it together, right? And that comes with that grounding as well. Something happened out of nowhere, and you can't believe that happened. It may have been a natural disaster or something, but something happened out of nowhere, and you can't believe that it happened the way that it did. You can't believe... Um,
how it all unfolded here. But with this two of wands, I'm seeing that there's a need to um, take action, but logical action with this thinking woman. You may even have uh, someone that you can confide in to help you make it a decision, but I feel like this is you moving into more into your logical space, moving more into a space where you want to take matters into your own hands. Someone is possibly, um, okay, Capricorn, but you're thinking things through with the decisions that you've made in the past that may not have been for the for the greater good of you and those around you, right? Um, I think I believe that you are assessing uh, some of your more animalistic behaviors. You are assessing um, your approach to things, why you do things a certain way here. <clears throat> With this devil card, I feel like you are looking at a connection that you may have with someone from a more logical standpoint instead of, um, because this may even be a soul tie and you're seeing it for what it is. So you began to research or ask someone who is an expert in that. But what I'm seeing here is that you cannot believe what you've been through. You cannot believe what you allowed yourself to go through here, which is moving you into more of an optimistic state because now you are in touch with your truth in a situation. So with the solar plexus energy that is coming in, I feel as though that you will be hypersensitive. Um, there's a lot of um, celestial being activity around you. So there may be things that go bump in the night. There may be things moving. Uh, you may also feel there may even be a trickster energy around you as well. Just letting you know. Let me clarify this uh, devil card, honey, because I got too comfortable right there. What is this devil doing, honey? I also feel here that there's someone who may be trying to cause some type of confusion um, with you, someone who may be trying to use something that you wrote or reveal something to your friends here, but they're playing a game that they can't win. Look at that judgment. They're playing a game that they can't win, okay? I feel like things are coming to the, to a, to the surface. So whoever it is that is trying to reveal something about you, there's something even bigger that is being revealed about them that they really can't stomach. So the whole time that they pointed that one finger, they had three pointing back at them, right? And that's that's how it's going to be revealed. And I feel like this is going to give you a boost in confidence because things worked out a little differently than what you thought. Um, I feel as though you're going to have this um, energy coming in that helps you to recognize your life force, getting in tune with uh, your divinity here, even more so. There's a lot of yellow. You may even want to wear yellow. There's a lot of yellow. But hold on. I told y'all it's going to get missed. Hold on. <clears throat> so you make a decision, the one will be made for you. I feel as though you will um, be liberated from a certain situation that had been, um, you had been kept, uh, held prisoner. You had been um, ca uh, held captive, in a sense to a certain uh, type of conditioning here. But there's a lot of balance here. And I feel like there's some spiritual balance with that two of wands. I also feel that um, any unpredictability um, that comes from someone outside of you, because I don't feel like this is you, um, When you get around this person or when this person comes up in your energy, you may begin to get hot or they may be one of those people. I need to talk about this one day, but they may be one of those people who their body is hot. Every part of their body is hot. And usually that's a healer, right? But in this instance, this is uh, someone who is an unevolved healer here. So it's judgment day. So when you are around them, when you think of them, it's a heat. You feel their heat. Um, when they um, travel to you uh, because of a cord, you feel that vibration. So it's not only that when you think of them and you hear a song and all of that. No, you feel the heat of this person. You can literally feel them breathing over your shoulder. <clears throat> what is this uh, solar plexus? Some of you will be re um, reassessing. Um, your co-workers, your partnerships here. You'll be reassessing your connection to 
the uh, universe. You will be reassessing your connection to people, places, and situations here. So another choice, right? Um, with this lover's card, there may be um, a high level or very intense and very passionate loving. That's that soul tie. So you want to be mindful of that. They're saying here that it's going to be important that you balance out your masculine and feminine here um, outside of the relationship or the situation that you are in with someone who um, you have a strong connection with, but it may come off as uh, it may be a false twin or maybe a karmic, right? Or it could be a karmic twin, uh, a karmic connection that once you make it through the karmic cycle with you and this person, it balances out, it levels out, right? Now it's even playing field, however long that takes. But overall with that uh, solar plexus energy, this is you getting in tune with higher levels of responsibility, higher energies, um, traveling the, um, using the chariot of ascension to um, travel realms easier with ease, right? Gentleness, ease, and grace. Remember, Taurus? So, with the Ascendant Masters crossing this, I know that this is a divine connection, but also the divinity within you is coming to the forefront. Um, many of you um, have uh, gifts that will... Um, strengthen. The gifts have strengthened here. Um, you may even have headaches as well, so drink lot, lots of water. Um, this this solar plexus energy that's coming in here, I feel <clears throat> that this hypersensitive, like you'll be able to hear a rat piss, piss on cotton. You'll be hypersensitive, but you may also be hypersexual. So you want to channel that energy in the best way possible. <clears throat> you'll be walking away from... Um, old patterns of behavior, releasing yourself from old emotional beliefs here, not even overthinking those things, taking your happiness into your own hands, taking your health into your own hands. Some of you may even be taking a more holistic approach um, when it comes to how you do things here, when it comes to your body, your mind, body, and your spirit. <clears throat> You've done a lot of the work that needs to be done, the so now you get what it is that you want, right? So this may be uh, the connection between you and a, you and someone else here, because I went further down, so we're skipping through. There's a connection between you and someone else, but there's a person, this is what I feel, there may be uh, parts of you that are locked in a relationship or parts of you that, that there's a soul tie with someone else, and then you have this other person in your life who you are really, really strongly connected to, and you are going through all of the things that you, like you are, you may even, this is you walking away from them and walking more into what it is that you truly want, which is this two of cups, this soulmate union, instead of this back and forth, the devil energy, this back and forth, just being addicted to this person, the way they smell, the way that they feel, <clears throat> the things that they do, how they do them, um, you may have even made some bad decisions by being connected to this person, but it was fun. I know how it go. Now, let's go back up here. <clears throat> the Ascended Masters are helping you to heal on the soul level, especially when it comes to your connection to finances. They are offering you something new if you are ready. Once you walk away from one thing, you are ready to open up to this. This is what's happening after the Ascended Masters. After you walk away from things that no longer serve you, cutting out the people, places, and situations that no longer serve you, walking away from nouns, right? You are ready for this newness. You are rebirthing. Um, this is you being rebirthed, right? <clears throat> the phoenix rising from the ashes. So you are being rebirthed here. You are given another chance to be free. You are being freed from in order to have this new level of freedom, which also comes with new levels of responsibility, right? So now that you are in this space, you are emotional, very emotional. Um, you are uh, seeing things differently when it comes to relationships, when it comes to your feelings, your emotions. You're looking at those differently. You're not overanalyzing them like you used to, right? Or like you did. <clears throat> You're ready for this uh, rebirth of you, this, re this renewal of spirit, this renewal of um, where you realize that you are a physical being having a spiritual being having a physical experience right and this is a new level of that i feel like there will be a lot of crying there will be a lot of 
um, inner joy here, but not before um, this shitstorm which you need to look at with a calm clarity. Now, I do see where there may be um, someone is getting their walking papers and that causes a shitstorm. Someone is freeing themselves from a certain situation that is causing a shitstorm. You are being uplifted and guided here above this shitstorm, but you will have to see that. No matter how chaotic it seems, I feel like you are being um, brought, um, you're, you're above it. Yeah, see, you're going to feel like giving up. Like, this is just too much. I, it's like you may even feel that you are bipolar, and you're not. This is the ups and downs that happen, and when you are going through these um, different phases in your journey, this is what can happen. You have this joy, this bliss, this feeling like, ah, and then boom, it all comes crashing down real quick because there is something that needs to be brought to your attention, right? Um, things that um, are going to require a different um, strategy, stepping uh, stones, these stepping stones, right? A different, uh, they have to be broken down to be rebuilt, and that's what this is doing. So with this nine of swords, you may feel as though, hell no, nah, right when I did this, and did I even make the right decision? Did I even, well, you have to sit in the eye of a storm and just let things just, you know, swoop around you. Let it all just come crumbling on down. Let's see what's going on. Because with that nine of swords, I also feel that there will be, um, some of you may even have nightmares. You may even come to the space where you have night terrors at this time here. <clears throat> and you feel like this this can't be real. This can't be what's going on. This can't. Why are these like this? Yeah. See? Hmm? You decided to free yourself from a situation. You decided to take the high road. You decided to let bygones be bygones. And the seven of swords causes some trouble. This could easily be that you will uh, feel as though you are self-deceiving. Some of you may even read or watch some video that takes you into this tailspin as well. But it's a necessary evil, as they call it. Now, now you may even get to the space where you want to give up because you felt foolish <clears throat> that you allowed things to get as far as they did, beating yourself up. This is a huge revelation with the Ascended Masters here. You healing on a soul level. There's a lot of debris. There's a lot of unpacking to do, and it's going to happen very fast. It's going to happen out of nowhere. Um, you want to um, clear yourself because it's going to be a good time for you to detox. Clear yourself of negative people, places, and situations. Be mindful of what you're putting in your body. Be mindful of the company that you are keeping because this is going to turn up a notch. But you are finally freeing yourself from lying to yourself. You're finally freeing yourself from having to be deceptive. You're finally freeing yourself from those who may have betrayed you in the past. Uh, you are finally freeing yourself from all the things that were holding you down, bogging you down. And after that, there's a changes. You get this new start in relationship. You get this new way of being. You get this connection that feels divine. And you know that it's divine. There's no need to ask anyone else. Um... Past life memories coming up where you may have been burnt at the stake or uh, maybe even a martyr. And uh, that a lot of that is coming up because you may have been um, beat up or beat down in a past life or in your past life as far as this life. And when you were younger, you may have been beat down about who you are, where, how you handle things and how you do this, that and the other. And you finally realize that um, you are who you are and what you can change, you can you will but you cannot be forced to change. Someone may have been forcing you to change or trying to uh, manipulate you in some type of way. You may have your hands full with um, having to make a number of decisions, a lot of people counting on you, and that causes a shitstorm as well. There may even be a natural disaster here that um, happens, and it happens in a time where it, it's not going to affect you physically or financially. What it's going to do is have you take a step back and begin to appreciate the smaller things in life. Many of you will see um, rainbows, maybe two rainbows in one day <clears throat> here, with, and there's no rain. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's after 3 a.m. 
<clears throat> what is this shit storm? So it's a potential difficulty, but you'll have warning. But there's this warning before destruction here, and they just want you to um, stay on, stay on course. Yeah, see, walking away, leaving something by, behind, leaving someone behind that didn't want to change, didn't want to um, see things a different way, only wanted to hold on to things and do things a certain way. Now that you are on this new journey and ready to move forward, you went from a two of staffs to a page of staffs. So now you are an apprentice. You are a student at what it is that needs to happen and, and what your next steps are and what you are studying or how you are approaching situations moving forward, and that is in the midst of this storm. Yeah, in that storm, in this, um, with you being broken down, this may even just be you being broken down. That's why you are what we would call breaking down, crying, throwing fits, ready to fight whoever, whenever, it's whatever. Don't fight nobody. Name. Temperance. Hmm? Maybe dealing with a Sagittarius. What I'm seeing here is that you may receive some type of information. There may be some connection with a soulmate. There may be some type of connection that um, brings you balance in your life. And now you can move forward. You know how you want to move forward. You receive something, some type of information. And instead of going off or losing your cool, you take a take time back, take time to away from the situation to reflect on it. You take a pause and don't try to act. I'm going to beat this fly. I'm going to beat this fly ass. I'm going to fight this fly. I know how I got in here, so it's not an uh, agent. But I'm going to whoop this fly ass. Because you ain't bothered me all day. Now you come in the middle of the read and want to bother me. You suspect fly. Now, I told y'all not to lose y'all cool. Like I ain't going to fight the fly. Now. There's going to be a need to, um, with all of this energy that is coming in, with this huge upset, you may even feel depressed for a second or go through those um, depressing what you have repressed, right? Or suppressed. You pressed it down like a panini. Yeah. So now you are having to balance out your energies. You are having to um, take, in, take into consideration that all of this was going to happen. Because you put it so far back, now it's in the it's in your your um, the forefront of your conscious mind. It's it's here. Hmm? So we'll look at it like a refrigerator. Just been going, you just been going to the grocery store instead of buying stuff, but you ain't been taking nothing out. There's some stuff back there in the back that that's thinking up things. So what you do? Take everything out and start anew. Take out what needs to be taken out and bring that balance back to your refrigerator, honey. Because what I'm seeing here is that <clears throat> you want to take your time. You want to be in a space being, you want to come into this space where you are being, you're going up into the cellar, right? To do the work that needs to be done during this breakdown in order for you to have a breakthrough, right? That's what comes before a breakthrough, a breakdown. Whether it be a mini breakdown or a breakdown that consists over years, which we call the dark night of the soul, all right? We're not too textbook over here. Got that bitch. I had to do it. It was stressing me out. I had to do it. it. Ain't quicker than me. Wait a minute. It wasn't gone. It played dead. Nippy. I don't like that. So you go up in the cellar for a little while. Um, we are not textbook over here, okay? So what it is that you come into here is a revelation, realization. Uh, you realize that it's time for you to move past certain things, certain ways of doing things, taking the higher road. The higher road doesn't always mean turning the other cheek, but it means that you are ready and you are willing to answer the call of your soul. So by doing so, what happens is you are um, going into the space where you know you are a leader, right? 
um, you've done a lot of following in your life and it hasn't gotten you too far. You take what you need and you throw away the rest in your life, right? And now you are gathering. You're gathering the information and the data that is needed in order for you to continue forward, to move forward. You are balancing out those energies. You are coming to a space where you um, are pulling three separate forces together in order for you to combine them and stabilize your energy with that one and that three, right? Um, you are at the space of in this um, space of being fully aware of what's going on, but not really, this is in the storm. You're fully aware of what is going on, but you are unaware of how it will end. So you're just pulling back. Now with this temperance card, <clears throat> with this temperance card, the connection between you and someone may go very, very fast, right? And I feel like this is someone that you know in this life or another, but this is a very strong connection, okay? And you are unsure, right? And a lot of the patterns of behavior, the things that you used to do, you can't do those anymore because you've outgrown them, right? And it's not expected of you, so you have to take your time with this person and take your time with yourself. This is bringing in stability and order on purpose and with purpose, okay? This is you um, getting to a space where you are benefiting from being stable. You are benefiting even more so by balancing those emotions, the old way of doing things, the old way of reacting um, that you inherited, the, that you um, may have even grown up around. This is a part of your conditioning that you have been unlearning for quite some time. So any of the challenges that you've had you are ready for new levels of responsibility because you know what you've gone through and what you've made it through. So now you are coming to a different, uh, looking at things from a different perspective here. Um, some of you are even realizing that the, the practical and spiritual and how that blends, how does that work together? You're realizing that. Move forward. <clears throat> what is this uh, healing? may have a lot of dreams. Um, you may have a lot of dreams about clear water, which is a good thing. So you may have a lot of dreams about clear water. You may have a, um, a lot of dreams about water in general. Just dreams. <clears throat> Each dream, the, the water will change. What is this? Maybe you're walking away from dishonest um, associations as well. Now, here we are. With you walking through the door of happiness and healing and realizing how you want to move forward, that scary, that scary beetle um, uh, stays leading, don't it? <laughs> so now you're in a space. You're in this space of knowing um, how far you have come, assessing responsibility, assessing your personal power, right? Knowing what you can and cannot take, what you will and will not take. Um, where you are when it comes to your um, physical capabilities, when it comes to um, those things that are tangible. What are you keeping? Many of you may come to a space where you are clearing the clutter in your home, in your mind, and, and in your spirit. This is an overhaul. So I really do feel that when it comes to your health, when it comes to your home, and when it comes to boundaries, you will be, um, oh, that's two sevens. Ain't that some shit? <clears throat> so, there's a new way of doing things. There's a new way of moving forward here. You may even um, have had some issues with your shin muscles or your shin. There ain't no muscles. That's a bone, right? It's three o'clock. It's three o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. <laughs> I got a real pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting for me. This is the end of difficulty. Some of you are packing up and leaving and moving to a better space where you will be able to open up more to the infinite energies that are available to you. Your ancestors are gathering. There is a gathering of the ancestors. It is that time of year. There is a lot of help out here. All you got to do is ask. Look at this. Eight of Swords. Y'all have a lot of mental energy going on in this reading, this conversation. Eight of Swords. 
feel like you can't even be happy? Do you deserve to be happy? <sighs> My goodness. Just being in a space where you feel that you, um, when it comes to conversation, when it comes to how you can move forward, who you communicate, can communicate certain things to, um, you feel limited, right? Um, you may even come to a space where you are bound by these, um, this conditioning. And now you are seeing the more that you have more work to do. That's where that healing on a soul level comes in as well. Surrendering to the process and letting all this shit go. Because you can pick each one of these apart. Maybe some of you have um, eight things that connect to one another. And you have all you need to do is realize how they connect in order to break the, the, the tie. Break the... Break the... Um, Break free, because this is self-imprisonment, right? This is a strong indication of um, may have been heartbroken once. Okay, let's see what these are. I see heartbreak in this Eight of Swords um, that you tried to push off like it was nothing. But if you go back and you see what part of each year you begin to feel the remnants of that heartbreak, you will realize that pattern, right, so that you can fix that. So there's a heartbreak here. There's something to do with a friend that may have lied on you very young, that made you not trust people in a certain way. You may have um, been roughed up. One of these is being roughed up and someone lying about roughing you up and not roughing you up in a certain way. Um, this, There's a fourth one here <clears throat> that is deeply embedded. And I feel like it may have something to do this has something to do with the mother or female <clears throat> betrayal <clears throat> that comes up every now and again. If it's not betrayal, it's just some pattern that has to do with a female. She sits at your left. Okay. Um, there's a, a an issue here with um, being indecisive or allowing people to make decisions for you. However, that connects for you. Or um, it has something to do with giving in or giving over, okay? Then the sixth one, I feel um, this, 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 this one comes up when you have headaches. This pattern happens when you have headaches or when you feel as though you are unable to see something clearly. So you may have issues with your eyes around this time. Or there may be like some type of allergy. Maybe it's allergy season when this particular... Um, thing comes up. It's a pattern. Okay. <clears throat> the other one I feel that may have happened by, when you were about two or three. So that's really deeply implanted. You could do implanted, embedded <clears throat> here because it, 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 it feels further away. So that's the seventh sword. The eighth sword, <clears throat> I feel that there, there may have been a connection that came very close to being something and it didn't pan out. Or uh, there may be an abandonment issue there. So those are some of the things that some of you may be clearing out. And once you see how certain things connect, I'm just giving an example as well. But once you see how certain things connect, you can release yourself from this self-imprisonment. Feeling trapped <clears throat> in a certain way of being. Feeling trapped in a certain way of thinking. Certain patterns of behavior. Um... This could even be subconscious, uh, some things that um, you are telling yourself subconsciously and they come back around in your physical life because you've thought about them and you've given so much energy to them and you keep telling yourself, I'm just a failure. I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, won't your ass just be happy? Okay. This is um, you being afraid of um, using logic over your heart. So the heart and the head need to connect. <clears throat> Now, somebody got a shit storm because it's a lady in a red dress and a man in a red boxer brief. So in her, somebody throwing a party. So let's see what's going on. Justice will prevail. That's all you need to know. 
It's going to be seen through, okay? A decision needs to be made between two people. Somebody throwing a party. Third, damn. It's going to be revealed. It's going to be... So it's going to be a huge fight. There's going to be um, that the issues of abandonment may, abandonment may even come through for you or the other person. But overall, um, this is a, a you may even be reconciling <clears throat> your differences, and and they want someone wants to do right, or someone will be doing right by you that was in a third party situation. Lots of Earth energy, Sagittarius, Gemini. <clears throat> Making a choice to do it together. So that is third party energy. So it's on you. What do you want to do? Some of you are even um, taking a break. Damn. Taking a break um, from this um, heartache. You're taking a break from this bullshit. You're taking a break from this situation because now um, you're going to focus more on your finances or what um, and, and enjoy. You may even be redecorating your home after this, cutting your hair. But you're going to begin to enjoy what it is that you have, taking time out, taking a break from people in order to get gather yourself, get yourself together, right? Um, and be with who you want to be with on your terms here. But I do feel this third-party energy is very strong, Libra, here as well. <clears throat> and you're going to decide to be single here because someone was dealing with their child's mother, here or um, the mother overall was hiding something. The mother-in-law's bitch. So you decided to be single, I feel, and wait for someone who is more compatible. But I also feel, again, that you will be focusing on your coin, focusing on what it is that you are working on and allowing this to um, handle itself. That's what they say. That's it. <clears throat> I'm going to do y'all a little surrender card, honey. Angels, what information do you have for my beautiful Taurians? Thank you. Surrender obsessive thinking. Are they lying on you or not? They're not. It goes with the reading, honey. <clears throat> if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring <clears throat> help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. I told you is. Surrender obsessive thinking. Can't make this shit up. Now <clears throat> see you be biting your nails, picking at your skin. That's when you know that you're just doing you're doing too much. Now I'm not judging nothing like that, because I know I it's a little, look right here, I just, you know. But you want to be mindful of what you are thinking about or what's driving you to bite your nails, what's driving you to pick, right? <clears throat> here. Focusing on what you want to happen too much. Now, you know with the law of attraction, you focus on something too much, then boom, that's what you're going to get. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everybody else happy, Taurus. Pull back. Surrender the people pleasing. Surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. I already said all this, but another kind of way. Wait. If you made it this far, oh, my little incense is everywhere. If you made it this far, just put some praying hands. They say that, that those hands are really people giving a, giving a high five. They should have told us that when we download the keyboard or when they put them on our phone. We thinking it's praying hands. But if you are willing to surrender to the process, go ahead and drop some praying hands in the comments. All right? And that will encourage others as well. Okay? Because that's one thing about it. If you look at, like, sophageal frequencies, binaural beats, mantras, whatever, any kind of positive, real positive type um, meditations, what you see in the comments are people 
encouraging other people. They drop affirmations in them bitches and everything, Taurus. Y'all got this. You just got to get out your head so much and, you know, work on yourself. Get the, get the nine day journey of mindfulness. You need to work on yourself. Even if you don't get that, get seek therapy. Do the work. It takes some time. Don't let nobody diagnose you that ain't even equipped to. Oh, you you going through that right there. That ain't nothing but bipolar. That ain't nothing but that. That ain't nothing but you need to shut the fuck up. That's why you can't tell everybody everything you're going through. Tell folks stuff. <clears throat> then you just open up the door for them to give you their opinions. That you didn't ask for. All right, I'm finna go. It's late. I gotta exercise in two hours. <laughs>